Now let's take a look at the BPMN 2.0 standard. BPMN is a standard notation. It's come from the OMG, uh, some uh, organization that did it, the UML standard, for example, and it's dedicated to process modeling. So in the Benitech camp, here we'll have just a quick a look on the subsets of the BPMN elements, but we'll deal with the core element required to create a first process. So here we have a, a list, a quick list of the, the key elements. First one you will see is the, the pool. So the pool is a, the container for one process. Basically one process is equal to one pool. Uh, in Bonita you will actually create diagrams. Uh, one diagrams in Bonita can uh, include several pools, but usually we stick with uh, one pool per diagram. In your process modelization, you will need to define the start of the process and the end of the process. So usually you will have one start event that uh, displays the beginning of the process. And then this, from this element, you will connect it to a series of tasks. Uh, so different uh, activities. Uh, we have human task when the user need to perform an action in order for the process to continue the execution. So basically when Bonita engine reach this type of, uh, of task, it will pause until the user, the user actually submit, for example, a web form. Or you have automated tasks that are fully executed by the Bonita engine. And it's used, for example, to um, run a connector that will interact with a third party system. Like for example, call an API in the cloud uh, upload a file and process a file whatsoever. And as I said, the, the process needs to be finished usually. So you have an end event. You can have actually several of them. We'll see when you can have multiple branch in your process. So you can have a different possible end. Usually you only have one start, but having multiple end events is a, a more common option. And all the elements are connected together using what we call transition. So all this notation is standard and you will find it when you launch Bonita Studio actually. You get uh, this kind of welcome screen and here you can create a new diagram for this uh, menu here. And when you create a new diagram, you get by default one uh, pool that is created here. Uh, the pool includes what we call a lane. I didn't mention that, but here you can see there is an employee lane. Uh, using this icon here uh, that I can drag and drop, I can add a second lane. Basically, usage of lane is to dispatch task. Um, so group together all tasks that belong to a same uh, user. So you see that when you create a new diagram, you have by default one pool with one lane and you have one start event and one human task. It's possible to add more tasks. Usually the more convenient way is to select the task here that was created by default and use little icon on the side here. And for example, click this icon task, drag and drop, and here it creates a new task. We'll see that here it created by default a service task if I want to change that to a human task, I can use the little toolbox here and pick the human task. I can as well, as I said, dispatch a task in the different lane. And you can see that you might have this little uh, red uh, cross here, it's a little error. Uh, you also have warnings. You can get details about that in the validation status here tab. Uh, here it's complaining about actor definition. We'll uh, get back to this in a, in the next chapter. Also about the modelization, when you select the pool, for example, and you go in this general tab, you are able to edit the pool name and version. If you don't select any elements, so this is basically the diagram that is selected, 
you can edit the diagram name and you can also edit the pool name so for example i can rename this to demo diagram and name the pool demo and i can define some uh, some version You have the same kind of settings when you select the steps. You can change the, the name of the steps. You can also, we'll see that later, how you can configure a form on the, on the task. If you select a service task here, you will see that you don't have these form tabs. It's basically because it's only users that can interact with the, the process using a form. If it's a service task, there is no user interaction, so hence no form. Also on transition, if you select them, you will see that you can define some name uh, that will be displayed uh, just above the, the arrow. So it can be helpful to have readable diagram to put some uh, information like that. And you also have the option to add notes on the side. Uh, and this notes doesn't um, have any impact on the process execution.